always one of these guys everywhere. In every town, in every city, there's a guy on his bicycle playing music. Welcome back to another vlog guys, you already know what time it is, it's JWV aka Jordan World Views. I am here today to entertain you with a sick vlog, come up with a sick one today, I'm just going to go for it. So without further ado, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and if you don't want to, then don't, let's go. Okay, first place of the day, or should I say first places of the day. I'm currently heading to Northern Quarter because Manchester has a sick like street art and, like, everywhere and there's this really cool app that you can use it's called Street Art City okay it's called Street Art City and like it tells you pinpoint for your location where this art is in like loads of different countries and loads of different cities I am currently heading to London Piccadilly you know if there's like artists out there that would graffiti or like do artistry on walls I'm gonna go look at it so for you fellow northerners I don't know if getting a free bus is just normalized to you but when you live in London getting on a free bus is nonchalant you have the pleasure of getting on a free bus which takes you pretty much all around the city. Like when you come up to Manchester, you can literally look around, get on a free bus, catch it from London Piccadilly. Um, if you just pop online and have a look, it will tell you all the stops it goes to, and it goes to most of the main destinations as well. So it literally just goes round in a circle and then just keeps going round in a circle all day. When you come to Manchester, don't be wasting your money on taxis. Get yourself a free bus. Currently walking through Gay Village, about to approach our first street art. There's like two here, and then after that, we're going to Northern Quarter. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, looks like there's construction work going on out here. We just met this, this young man, and he said to me that they're covering up this piece of artwork, unfortunately, because they're building a building here now. This might actually be the only glimpse that you guys get of it, because next time you come up here, it could be gone, so you're welcome. Do you know one thing I really like about Manchester? So as much as it's being built up and it's super modern and just hearing cranes left, right and centre, it still has parts that are like, very rustic, very vintage. Well, that is the perfect time to say that these bloody buildings and these artworks are hard to get to. I think the really cool thing about the street art is that it's all close together. So as soon as you kind of find your bearings of where it is, which is all pretty much in the same place, it's like all walking distance. So food for thought, just to let you know, once you find your bearings, one to two minute walks and you find a piece. One to two more minutes walk and you find another piece. Ladies and gentlemen, if you fancy going to the old Babylon station, they've got a police museum here. I mean, Manchester just seems to have everything. Nice people, Babylon station, street art. I mean, what more can you ask for? very interesting piece of art I feel like I've been here for about five minutes now everybody stopped to take pictures of this I feel like it's because everybody's going through it so everybody stopped to take pictures of this it's probably definitely one of my favorite pieces because it's so relevant and I think because the whole world is going through this and I don't know if there'll be another time in history if the world goes through this and so just enjoy this piece but whoever created this whoever made this happen shout out uh, co-op and the artist who did this, amazing. Sometimes I don't even know where I'm going and I'll just walk and I'll just see a piece and I'll be like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> so like, I just I saw this piece, oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man, I love it. I actually love it. Like, yeah, take a moment to look at it. 
me being optimistic today was hoping that the up north weather would stay consistent. To be fair, it did say it was gonna rain. Another piece. Let me see if I can just pan that in. Yep. If you live up north, you already know what time it is. And if you're coming up north, then know what time it is. It rains a lot here. <laughs> Why is there always one of these guys everywhere? In every town, in every city, there's a guy on his bicycle playing music. We're gonna have a little pit stop in Cafe Nero. Have a cheeky coffee. And uh, yeah, back to business. <laughs> I thought to myself, what better time but now to stop behind Frida Kahlo and talk about what I've experienced so far. Kind of reminds me of someone just giving me a thousand pound, then the next person gives me two thousand pound, then I walk down the road, then I get four thousand pound. I don't think I've really taken it in, but the artwork is sick. Like, I can't even lie, the artwork is sick. Like the actual decor of uh, Manchester in itself is sick as well. Like I think people don't even deep how like wicked this place is. But yeah, I didn't even say. So I found this salsa class that I'm gonna go to and it's my first time going there. I am gassed. But I'm excited for that. That's gonna be later on today. So let's go on to the next one. The time has come. Today was lit so far. Like seeing the artwork was just crazy. Like, I don't know, it just kind of blew me away. But the time has come, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna. Yeah, let's go. I ain't even gonna talk too much. I'm just gonna straight fast forward to me walking into the place. Currently here, but I got no idea how to get inside. This seems to be the story of my life. Let me find out how to get inside and salsa can commence. Just finishing a salsa class, wicked class, wicked class. I feel like I learned so much, even though it was only on for an hour. Sick class, I'm gonna go on Friday. They've actually got a two hour class on Friday, bachata and salsa. So that's gonna be sick. Yeah, man, if you're ever in Manchester, like come and try it out. Like it's good vibes, it's good people, it's good fun, it's good energy. And yeah, it makes you feel good. And you're losing calories. Look at me, looking after your old mental health and dietaries. Anyway, going home now. Vlog basically done for the day. Mwah.